Hey everyone, welcome back to our collaboration channel, The Verb Right Fighters. So today, me and Kaylee will be telling you guys top 3 mistakes that Marlene McGowan make. Disclaimer, this video is not made to hate on Marlene or her fans. This video is just made for learning purpose so that if you could watch it, you could stop making those mistakes. And if you are making those mistakes, you could also stop making those mistakes. Yes. Um, Marlene is a really great bird YouTuber, um, but she does have a little mistakes, so we'll just point that out so that, like, we could all be improving to become better bird owners. This is the first mistake. It is the Aglet Heaven toy, and if you watch Marlene, um, you know, she pro really promotes this toy. Um, the thing about this toy is, um, I can't zoom in, but the, if you look closely, these are shoelaces with like little plastic thingies on it. And the purpose for this toy is actually for them to chew on those plastic bits. Um, yeah, um, they're kind of sort of chewing on plastic. And even though that's not necessarily bad, um, they could ingest a few of them. And after they chewed out the plastic bits, the, their shoelaces, I think, are made of cotton. So once they chewed it all out, it will all be like cotton, frayed cotton, and they could ingest that as well. Yeah. So, yeah, her first mistake is yeah. bad. Well, not necessarily bad, but not exactly proper toys. Like, she gives natural toys as well, which is very good. Just this one's a little bit of a hazard. Yeah, so the thing with that toy is that uh, the toy is made up of plastic and rope. And that place toy is made up of cotton ropes. And cotton ropes are actually bad for the birds as they could ingest those fiber and uh, I think that the plastic won't really work for the beak of your bird because like they can't chew on plastic as good as they can chew on natural toys. He does have natural toys but still just one toy is enough to make your bird um, a little sick or something because that toy contains uh, fibers of rope and that toy is kind of like uh, made up of plastic and rope only and she has big birds as you know like macaws, cockatoos and uh, like that african grapes so bigger birds have a lot more stronger and bigger beaks which is even more dangerous because uh, they can just eat those things because they have bigger beaks and stronger beaks they could also eat those things, which isn't really good. Yeah. Okay, so mistake number two is that she takes her birds to the pet stores. Uh, now, you may think, what's wrong in there? But the thing that's wrong is there is that pet store birds could possibly be sick. And if they are sick, they could also spread sickness to your bird. Because most of the pet stores are not really good. And even if they're good, there is still a risk that the birds could bust sick because you never know what your bird is sick from and they could possibly be hiding their sickness. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the mistakes. Now, I will be sharing my screen. Yeah. Um, so, uh, when you get a bird from a pet store, that's kind of the reason why you're quarantining it to get rid of the sicknesses. Um, but Marlene took, um, her birds to the pet stores to interact, well, not really interact, but something with the other birds there, and the birds, the pet store may not be that clean, so if 
um, the birds have any illness as they could spread it to Marlene's birds. Yeah. So, in this video, uh, it says, Name my new bird, Muffin chooses his bird partner, Marlene. So, now, just by the title, you can say that she probably took her finch to the pet store so that her finch, I mean, her finch could lose his partner uh, from the pet store bird. Yeah, so now you can see that she is in that container and uh, the other birds are in, the, in those cages in the pet store. Now, you may think that what's wrong? Finchie is in a glass cage, but still, Finchie, because, uh, like, if the bird is sick, uh, it could possibly spread in the air, and, uh, I don't think that Finchie is really interacting with those pet store birds, but she should know that, uh, that the pet store bird could attack another bird, but she also have more videos like this in which he took jersey and uh in one of the videos she took jersey to the pet store and she also do a lot of party videos in which her birds meet another bird and uh which could which could be dangerous for her birds as you never know which bird is sick they could possibly be hiding the sickness and there are lots of things so I think that's a mistake. She shouldn't be like allowing her birds to interact with pet store birds as they could be sick. And that is the reason why you have to quarantine your new bird from your <laughs> before birds. Like from the birds you have got before. Yeah, um, so if you're wondering like, but if they don't choose the bird, what if the bird hates him? Well, um, I guess it's just trial and error. Yeah, because the bird is just going to watch the bird from the pet store because I'm pretty sure that the pet stores won't allow you to keep your bird in their cages. They surely won't allow this. So, of course, it's like the bird can't choose the partner either. Uh, it's like they could fight later on you never know when they're going to fight because like some birds are very nice to each other at the beginning but later they become really aggressive like uh very with very it's actually opposite very was way too much aggressive towards sky when she first saw sky because she thought that everyone else except for humans are bad for her and like she owns everything, so she was really aggressive towards Sky, but later they become friends, so it could be opposite for you. Like, your birds are, like, really nice to each other at the first, but later they start fighting. So the third mistake that Marlene makes is that she allows her dogs, cats, and birds to interact with each other. So now I'm presenting my screen, and if you could see in this video, my talking parrots, dogs, and dogs' reaction to a new kitten, many subscribe deals. So, in this video, here, uh, now, here is the kitten, and if you could see, her dog basically just ran through the bird, and the dog could possibly hurt Rocky, because, uh, like, the dog was running and it didn't know that if it's going to hurt or hurt the bird or not. The dog just want to run. Now, uh, the cat is also like could possibly attack Rocky because he's very new. Uh, she herself said that new kitten. So you never know what's going to happen and the kitten is very new. So, she could easily attack Rocky because he's not even used to Rocky. So I think it's wrong because uh, her cat could easily attack her bird. Her dogs could easily attack uh, her bird. And her dogs could easily attack her cat. Now, uh, it's not the reason. 
think that in every case, like uh, some dogs do not really attack cats, but still there is a risk of being attacked. Yes, and even though, um, even though like we don't really know if that's her dog or cat, well, she pro it probably is, but um, even though the dog or the cat does not attack parrots, like. You may say that, oh, they're bonded, they will never attack. There's still a risk, you know? Yeah, even sometimes that happens, that the dog don't even want to attack the bird. But still, mistakenly, you know, dogs play really, really harsh. They like to run around, they get super excited anytime. You never know what's going to happen to your dog. They sometimes get really excited and they start running and suddenly they stop. So, uh, the mood of the dog could easily change anytime, and even though if the dog don't want to hurt the bird, uh, the dog could mistakenly hurt the bird, which is not right. And the cats. Cats can never be trusted when it comes to bonding of birds and cats. Uh, like in one of the Instagram bird video, there was a cat sitting over the I mean, there was a bird sitting over the cat, but the cat literally just snatched the bird. And the, and the same thing could happen to her bird. And she also has uh, some small birds maybe, like she has finches and she has mustache parakeet that aren't really big compared to macaws. So uh, they could be easily hunted by cat or dog. So I don't think she should be letting her dog, cat, and birds interacting with each other. Yes. Uh, okay, so, so that was it for today's video. Those were the mistakes that we found out that Marlene makes. Now, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe us, make sure to subscribe our main channels too. Matilda is not with us again, sorry for that, we, she has some problem, but subscribe her channel which is known as Bird TV, subscribe Kelly's channel which is known as Candace D, and my channel which is known as Birdie Lovers. Thank you so much for watching, see you guys in our next video. Yes, um, one more thing, um, uh, just because we pointed out these mistakes doesn't mean that Marlene is a bad bird owner. Um, she is a very good bird owner. It's just these three mistakes that we just pointed out so that we could all keep improving. So yes, thank you all for watching. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah. Bye. Bye.